Hello friends, welcome to Fox Tech. So today we have to see about uh, daemon set and how to troubleshoot it. So in last video, we have explained about daemon set and uh, how it's been useful and all, what is the use cases and uh, when we have to use the daemon set, how we can bypass the daemon set if we are not running on all the nodes, right? So in this, we're gonna see quickly about how to troubleshoot the daemon set. It will be so quick. So let's take it. So before start, just let me give you the other heads up, like what is daemon set. Daemon set is a feature used to ensure all our <clears throat> uh, parts to be scheduled on running node, running on sig every single available nodes on the Kubernetes cluster. This is essential to copy all the desired part across all the nodes. Why we need that? So that's been explained already, but again, I'm going to tell. Let's say like you have a log collector or the, any kind of a metrics collector or some selected storage, the cluster storage, or any kind of third-party monitoring tool or cache tools, you want to put it across all the nodes, all over wherever the application deployed. So that time you no need to go particularly and deploy it on each and every node. So the daemon set is a great tool, which takes that part. It deploys your tools, whatever things you are telling on the daemon set, it will make sure it's deployed on all the nodes, okay? So daemon sets is integral part of Kubernetes cluster for facilitating administrators to easily configure the service across all the all other subsets of the nodes. So again, so there is a scheduler which is responsible for deploying the parts. But when you say the deployment set as a kind, so what happens is the scheduler will be skip those thing services because there is another to controller called the daemon set controller that takes all the part deployment to the all the nodes okay so dollar work will be sparsed and it won't take any action on daemon set things it will only manage us rest all the kinds okay and again daemon control daemon set controller take care whatever been mentioned on the daemon set right so let's see what troubleshooting things we can perform and in this we're going to cover three things the first thing is, if you have any parts already existing, so we want to see that we have to list and you have to understand what it's mean, like what is the issue, and you have to check the logs. So I'm going to show what it's been. So for that, what we'll do, so let's deploy so one daemon set and let's check it. Is it deploying on all the nodes? And also we're going to see the... Uh, uh, also, we let's check the logs and let's try to describe it and try to understand it. Okay, so for that, I have my nodes already. And let me quickly open my terminal, and here it is. Right, so I have a file already, so which is nothing but it's deploys the fluentd into the VM. So, fluentd lx text search, and I'm going to deploy it on the cube system namespace. Okay. As we seen in the last video, so we have mentioned about selectors. I'm using the match label here with the Fluentd Elasticsearch. And there is a template again I'm using that also mentioned in the last video. And the label will be mentioned as it is. I'm not mentioning the restart policy here. Why? Because by default, this has been set always. So let's not mention it. And what this will do, it will create a container called Fluentd Elasticsearch from this image. And this is a resource allocation has been given here and it mounts two files so it's a var log and var log containers and it's been read only okay so grace period has been set and these are the volume details okay so let me quickly show my notes kcd will get notes and let's open in the detailed view sorry i'm using a short note here so let me show the uh, like this also we can do this and currently i have only one node i'm using a cluster so this doesn't have multiple node at this moment and uh, there is okay what i'm gonna do i'm gonna apply the changes give ctl gear sorry. apply i find and the, my file is ds not right so okay so this deployment set has been created. How I can check the queues deployment set? Let's quickly check. Get ns. 
Oh, sorry. TS are the deployment set. There is nothing. Why? Because we have deployed on the selected namespace, kubectl system. And you can see this. And there is my daemon set. So you can see there is a one desired state, current state, and ready. And all the nodes, it's been deployed. Okay. So how I can check the parts again? kubectl get parts hyphen n. System. So here also I can see one pod has been deployed and it's running, right? So next thing is, so I can I don't want to see all these pods, right? How I can list it? So I can use the label selector here. So what is my label selector? Let me take it from the labels. So Fluent Elastic such as my label, right? So this is a pod and I'm using it and only one is running. This is a pod and this is a node details, okay? So in case if I have more than one node, so it will be automatically deploy it, right? So as there is no much load, I'm using a cloud version. So it's been shown as a single one. So let's try to read this one. So I want to see the details how this part is performing as it's running even though let me check the part details and then system right all right so you can see there is a condition is okay and everything is true and there is no error as such here labels are used sorry and node status priority doesn't set and controlled by the daemon set and the node selectors right and uh, let's quickly check how to check. so let's assume this part is not working and how we can troubleshoot the first thing you can show check it so kubectl events on the selected cube system you can check is there any running issue or something so whenever there is some issues, one thing we can identify it here. So you can see this connection got killed some time before. So the connectivity agent got killed and it's been recreated, right? So it's been deleted and again, there has been recreated scale down and it's scaled up. Why? Because I'm using a cloud one. It's keep monitor the node uh, performance. If there is no usage of the node, it's automatically scaled down, okay? So as there is no scales, there is no nodes have been run. So what it's set, it's been set to one, okay? So now let's quickly check the nodes as we have put some load on the system. Still it's been one, that's fine. Let's, let's check like a events first. And second thing, what you can do, you can check the logs, okay? How to check the logs, cube system. And let me open this, or let's open this. Um, let's go without any, without following the default one. Let's tick this because it's been scaled up, scaled in. So let's quickly check is there any issues. kubectl logs and the pod name, iphone n cube system. So make sure that you are giving a correct um, namespace because it's important. So you can read the logs. The logs are very fine. There is no error or there is no critical things. So, so good. And let's quickly check for our flow in D also with the same way. So let me open the same command. I'm just replacing the pod name. Okay. So also good. So there is no error or something. So if there is a error or some warnings, you could see it in this. By default, Java application provides it. And any application nowadays, it adds the tag, you can read it, okay? So, so good. And uh, let's assume like uh, now we understand there is a lot, all are good. But even though if you see your uh, application is getting crash loop error or any kind of uh, memory error, OAM killed, right? That also could happen. So when, uh, when such issues happens, what you can do, kubectl, 
So top command you can use on pod hyphen n. I'm going to see only applications from my selected name phase. I don't want to see it across everywhere. So you can see my application consumption is just 1M and also 60 milligrams. We can see it in the daemon set how much we given. So we have given enough CPUs and enough memory. So it wasn't crossing the limit. So we are so good. So in case if you are seeing the fluent is uh, okay, even though you are getting the OAM killed error or the performance issues. So that could be happen due to the second issue what we have. <clears throat> Check the resource parts running out of resources, right? So not only the part may running out of resources, this could be happen even for the nodes. How do you check for the nodes? Just on the same command top node. And you can see how much it's going. The CPU is under very 2% and also memory is 11%. In case if you see this CPU and memory consumption is getting very high, right? So what you have to do, so you have to change your, either you can see the flexibility of changing your daemon set resource limits, you can reduce it if possible. Otherwise, what you have to do, you have to go to your cluster node and you have to try to increase the the CPU and memories. If you are using a cloud versions, you have to change your instance type from one to another and you have to optimize it, okay? So that is the two things we can perform it. Or in case, so there is another way what we have to do. So troubleshooting in case you see like uh, even my pod is fine and there is no issue has been observed. Or let's assume like, uh, you, even your uh, even your uh, resources are fine and there is no resource crunch issues and even though if you see your application is not performing as expected right so what you can do so if you can see such issues so <clears throat> you can see in the details like what is happening with the very much details or you that is not working. Oh, sorry. So what you can do, one more thing, let me get the part. So we can see there is a issue on, you can see in detail also the part details, memory consumptions. <clears throat> selected part also you can see it right so even though we couldn't identify any kind of resource issues as i said what you have to do you have to understand your container first so you have to run the container command and see it so how do you run the container command so let me open a notepad. If you are good with the Docker, you can, you will be well, well aware of it. So even though, just let me show you that. What you can do, you can take an image and Docker run command and iPhone IT and see how it's going and do the RM command. It's again, so if you want to do it on your node and you want to try, or if you don't want this image to be present, you can put the image name and run a bash command if it supported the shell with the bash or if you run it with a search whatever the comfortable one so you have to run it and see how what is happening so if the application is not performing well or any error so you could see in the running parts and you can understand it and fix it and once everything is fixed modify the whole the configuration everything on your docker file okay so you have to change everything on your Docker file and finalize the fix and build a new image and come to the uh, Kubernetes manifest and change all the values. Or if there is additional values need to be introduced, please feel free to introduce and uh, perform any kind of actions, okay? So hope, so this is how you can troubleshoot it. Demon said there is no much available options as it's a very simple part and these are all the ways we have to troubleshoot it. So hope this gives some idea about how to troubleshoot it.
So hope this video is useful, guys. If you feel like uh, you want more details or something, please feel free to reach us and we'll try to cover those topics. Okay. Thanks for your time, guys. Have a great day. Keep visit us and we will be adding more troubleshooting articles about more Kubernetes resources. And there is a one consolidated troubleshooting guide. We are preparing it. Hope it will be released very soon. So please visit our foxutech.com also and also our channel for more videos. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Keep learning. Thank you. Bye-bye.